remember the 5th of November. Yes, this Thursday is fireworks night and one of the best things about fireworks and bonfire night isn't just the pretty fireworks, no of course, it's the delicious treats you get to sample. And I'm joined this morning by resident chef Lewis Clare. Thank you for joining us this morning, Lewis. Morning. Now, I've got a bit of different surroundings for you today. We have, We've got yeah. a proper kitchen. So I know, I know. Very, very lucky. All very modern. Now, what are we making today? Well, two classic bonfire night favourites, treacle toffee and we're going to make some parking. Okay. So we're going to get started on the treacle toffee. So in here we've just got some treacle, mm -hmm. some butter, mm -hmm. some water and a little bit of vinegar okay. just to help emulsify. We're going to pop that, pop that into the heat with a load of dark brown sugar. Get that on there, just give it a little sort of stir in. It's always important when we're working with treacle, just give it a little bit of a warm up before yeah. we start because it's such a viscous product. It'd be very, very difficult to get out of the tin and be a, be a bit hard to work with. So just Pop it in the microwave for 20 seconds, stick it in a bath of warm water. Okay. Just to get it going, make it a little bit more liquid. That now, smells beautiful. It smells like caramel. It does indeed, yeah. A lovely, rich, soft notes go on there. Now, all we're doing mm -hmm. is just breaking down our, our big lumps of sugar to get it fairly smooth. Okay. And we're going to leave that on a high heat. Right. With one of these. This is a sugar thermometer. Right, okay. So it's very I important. thought it was just a Victorian thermometer. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was a bit old. It looks very, very retro. Yeah. Well, the thing is, obviously, because we go to quite high temperatures when we're working with sugar, we need it to be metal. Okay. okay which is why it looks quite sort of draconian and old school. Okay. So we're going to put in, the temperature we're looking for with this is about 150 degrees C. So we just pop that in there, mm -hmm. and we're going to leave that for, well, it'll take, depending on your oven, anywhere from sort of 5 to 25 minutes just right. to come okay. to temperature. Okay. We can leave that as it is now. We'll come back to that. Right, Shortly, so do you have we'll to keep stirring parking. it or can you just leave it for 25 just, minutes? Just leave it to go. Brilliant, just okay. Absolutely leave it. Fantastic. Okay, so moving on, we'll start having a look at our parking. Mm -hmm. So in here, I've got about 100 grams of flour. Okay. Uh, some ginger, some nutmeg and a little bit of mixed spice. We've got some nice fragrant flavours going on in there. Right, I don't want to sound blonde, mm -hmm. but I don't know what parking is. Can you parkin, explain what it is? It's like, a, it's like a spiced cake, but quite gingery. Right, okay. Sort of, Almost fruitcake like, but without the fruit, Brilliant. if that makes okay. sense. I'm excited now. So, to that, we're just going to add about 100 grams or so of oats, oats in there. Oats are so good for you as well, aren't they? They are. Such a good source of fibre and, and everything else. They so are. They're, they're, so they're really, really good. Yeah, exactly. Cheap. And they're just going to add a little bit of body to the dish. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. So, now we've got those in there, we just want to add some of this. Now, in here, I've got equal parts golden syrup and sugar. Okay. Some butter. And then also we've just got some treacle in there as well because that's going to give it that really, really rich wow. flavour. So we just grab a little spatula. I love that. That looks so gloopy. And I just, the it's, tomboy in me wants to put my hands in there and get really messy. <laughs> well, one of the great things about parking actually is it's actually better if you, if you sort of leave it for about a week after really? you've made it. Yeah, because all this treacle and, and, and the, the syrup and everything starts to ooze out of it and it goes really okay. sort of goop, gloopy and unctuous, okay. which is exactly what we're looking for. So we're just going to work that in till we get sort of stiff batter. Yeah. Like so, almost like a sort of flapjack consistency. Yeah, it is like a flapjack. It looks like it'll have a gorgeous texture, particularly because of the oats. Nice and nice and soft and rich. And mm -hmm. then to that, we're going to add an egg with just a little bit of milk. Okay. About a tablespoon of milk and one beaten egg in there. Any milk? It was whole milk quite better because it's, it's creamier, or is it really not matter? Doesn't really matter because there's such a small quantity going there. It's just to add a little bit more liquid in there that's basically not water really. Okay. So again, just working it in. I wish you could does, smell this at home, it's so nice. It does smell great, doesn't it? Now, as you can start to see actually, if we want to come back over to our treacle toffee here, it's, it's starting like a to bubble It's like a witch's cauldron, now. isn't it? It's it like a Halloween indeed. witch's cauldron. So we've reached boiling point. We're, we're fast rising to 110. Okay. So that's coming on. So work this in. We're very nearly there now. So we've got now quite a soft pouring mm. batter there. So now we need to get it into a tin and into the okay. oven. Okay, if, if so, this one? This tin, that, that's the one there. Pre-greased as well. Now, what we need to do is grease this and also line it as well. Mm -hmm. So I've got some parchment here. I'm just going to show you a little chef's trick. Take your parchment, screw it up, unravel it, screw it up again. Good stress reliever. It is. Unravel it again. The, the reason we do this, if you put in a sheet that's completely uncrumpled, It'll form jagged edges. That's, you know, I was going to say that because when I do try and do it, it seems to ping back out the tin. Exactly. It just won't stay where you want it exactly. to stay. Exactly. So if you if you do that and just crumple it up first, okay, it'll form a nice even layer. Brilliant, brilliant. So now we're just going to pop our parking mixture in there. Yummy. 
pour that in. So you need to grease it as well as put that in? Because yeah. I thought it was either one or the other. Well, it, it quite often is. It depends a little bit on the tin you're using. But with this, because it's going into the oven for such a long time, it can stick. Okay. If you get any areas where it goes beyond the parchment, right, okay. it will stick. So we'll just scrape that out into our... Oh, I'd tray. love to lick that bowl. It looks lovely. <laughs> do, you, do you want to take that one? I'll leave that I'll, for I'll you for later. I'll do it later because um, I might get it all over my hands. Just give it a little shake so we get a nice even layer. And then we're going to pop that into the oven. Preheated okay. to about 140. And we're going to need to leave that in there for about an hour and a half. So it's quite right. a long cooking time. It is indeed. It needs to be left for a, probably, yeah, about half an hour or so when it's out. Okay. I'm just let it cool go. down. Yeah, Should you just take it out down. as soon as it's out of the oven or do you leave it and then remove it just, from the tin? Just, just leave it in the tin for about right. half an hour or so. And as I okay. said, you can give it about a week or so before you want to eat. So you can make this well in advance. So good, yeah. And really, really nice. That's brilliant. So now... Is this all right? I'm a little bit worried. Look at the smoke coming off this. Exactly. It's starting to smell. My kitchen upstairs, my prep kitchen, has been absolutely fumigated with this stuff <laughs> over the Halloween period. So... We've got up to our temperature now, which is what we want. And it's meant to be doing that. It's meant to be It's that meant to be bubbling like this. Okay. And we're going to go straight onto a pre-greased baking sheet. Right. So we'll just bob that temperature yeah. off. As you can see, look at all the smoke coming off that. Wow. I'm just going to bob that in. And is, is that going to stick to the tin? Is that going to be an absolute nightmare no, to we've, clean? No, we've, we've just greased the tin. Right. And you just want to leave it just to sort of sit until it's cool. Okay. Once it's cool. Wow. Oh, that looks lovely. Then you can just turn it out. Smash it with a hammer, rolling pin, and you've got it. If you want to try and do it finesse, you can score it to try and get it to nice. I think it'll be fun to pieces, smash it up. Yeah, it's exactly. It's a bit more um, retro, isn't it? They used to have the, the hammers with the toffee. That's why I used to have my nanny Exactly, granddad, yeah. So. And, they, and there you go. You can leave that. Now, I would have brought some of this for you to try, but sadly, it's been so popular over Halloween, we've sold out. <laughs> I have, however, brought some of the parking oh, for you. So this is what the parking should look like when it's come out of the oven and finished. Okay, and what should you serve it with? Ice cream or is it more of like a, you know, well, a snack, so like a cake? I, I generally think of it as sort of, you know, around the fire, towards, towards the end of the fireworks yeah, display, yeah. just bringing it round in a sort of cake tin or That's biscuit lovely, tin, just yeah. having bits and pieces like that. Pop it in some Tupperware and then yeah, uh, bring it to exactly, the firework night. Exactly, and, so, and like I say, keeps fantastic. Am I right to try this? See, Shay's not here, go. so for once I get to try it first, which I'm very excited about. Okay. Mmm, that's gorgeous. So how long, you said this will last quite a while. Yeah. Well, how should you store it? Just just in, in some Tupperware, something like that, or Okay. I mean, if, if you've got something where you can seal it in, that's great. Anything where it's, it's sort of sealed from the air, that's absolutely fine, yeah? And the gooiness will come out. It's quite spicy as well, isn't it? Yeah. So what spices have we used? We've got ginger, we've got nutmeg, and we've got mixed spice, which is a blend of a, of a few different spices, like nutmeg and cinnamon and that sort of thing. Okay. And that just gives it that rich, fruity note. Fantastic. Well, if you're inspired, and you should be, because it tastes stunning, then we've actually got the ingredients coming up along the screen now as we speak. Okay. Okay, so 100 grams of self-raising flour, a pinch of salt, three teaspoons of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, half a teaspoon of mixed spice, 120 grams of oatmeal, 100 grams of golden syrup, 50 grams of treacle, 80 grams of butter, 100 grams of soft brown sugar, one egg, lightly beaten, and a tablespoon of milk. And then just to make it, we just sifted the, the self-raising flour, the salt, the ginger, the nutmeg, and the mixed spice, and then we added in the oatmeal. We then put the treacle, the butter, and the sugar just to warm until it was melted, and then we added that into our dry ingredients. Then we added the eggs and the milk, and we stirred in well until it was a nice pouring consistency. Then we poured into our lined, greased tin and popped it into an oven at about 140 degrees for about an hour and a half. And then we left it to stand for 30 minutes before turning out. Then onto the treacle toffee, we took 225 grams or half a pound of soft brown sugar, four ounces or 115 grams of black treacle, 55 grams or two ounces of butter, a tablespoon of water and half a tablespoon of white vinegar. We then placed the butter, the water and the vinegar into a heavy, a heavy bottom saucepan until it was melted with the treacle. And then we added the sugar, let it dissolve and then brought the temperature up to 150 degrees using a, th a sugar thermometer. Once it had reached this temperature, we poured it out into a well-oiled sandwich tin and we left it to stand before we turned it out with a hammer and gave it a good smash. 